Stuck in Vermont brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont, a New England federal credit union. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here in Burlington at Lakeview Cemetery. Today we are taking a walking tour, which is being led by Preservation Burlington. So we're going to take a walk through the cemetery and visit with some notable residents who were buried here, and they're going to tell you their stories. I myself was a maiden lady all my life. Though I've had a quiet life, I was very generous, very religious. We can learn so much about Burlington and about the people that lived here through a cemetery. And it's a great way to highlight just some of the famous residents of Burlington's past. Cemeteries were these places where you could come and enjoy them as a park in the mid to late 19th century. Let's experience the cemetery like you might have experienced it 150 years ago, as a destination out of the kind of busyness and dirtiness of town, but there wasn't this sort of taboo around them at all. We're also taking a peek inside the Louisa Howard Chapel, which is maintained by Friends of Lakeview Cemetery. Louisa Howard was one of the local philanthropists, as in the Howard Center, Howard Street, which was one of Burlington's prominent families, and she decided that people needed a place for sanctuary when they came out to bury their loved ones. What you'll probably notice as you walk around is you'll see a lot of last names that correspond to streets in Burlington or schools. You will notice some very large trees. These were trees that were very intentionally placed here, and as you can tell, we kind of are winding around. You can see how twisty and turny and, and even, you know, what I think we just walked upon was an old little carriage path. So this is where people were buried who were basically anonymous. My husband, the scoundrel that he was, abandoned me when I was pregnant and unfortunately I was taken by one of the flu epidemics in 1903. And so I am buried here. The home for friendless women was to provide women who were unwed mothers a good and safe Christian lifestyle. Ted Bundy was born at the Elizabeth Lund House in 1948. But I love the history of Lakeview. I love that it's a sanctuary just to be still, a place to, to reflect and enjoy nature. William Wells, please speak about yourself. You're here. I was born south of here in Waterbury, Vermont uh, in 1837. From 19, I helped my father run his business up until the Civil War broke out. In his prime <laughs> as a general. <laughs> I, mean, I commanded the 2nd Battalion of the 1st Vermont Cavalry. I have many friends and family here in Lakeview, and I'm proud to be buried here. Statue of William Wells in Battery Park. There's a statue that corresponds in Gettysburg. Quite fascinated by all the characters. I was not aware of not only the history of Burlington, Vermont, but how we are part of the greater history of the United States. Preservation Burlington is a nonprofit tasked with promoting the livability and the historic preservation of the architecture of the city of Burlington, Vermont. I am Horatio Nelson Jackson, who is the first person to drive an automobile across the country in 1903. So his car, the Vermont, is on display at the Smithsonian today, and he was a Burlington resident that's buried here in Lakeview Cemetery. My wife, Bertha, oh, Bertha, you came. <laughs> Bertha was actually the daughter of William Wells. We won't go into the details. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's really important that we promote and preserve the, the history of this city. Oftentimes you can get in a narrative of only seeing the present, but once you're able to see residents of the city that came before you, their legacy of what they built, having that kind of connection fosters a really, really strong community. There's a whole language of grave marker and headstone iconography, the angel being lifted into heaven. Ferns and a lily, those also have symbolism, the lily purity. Why is Burlington unique? We're a wealthy lumber port, so we have a lot of really well-built, beautiful older older houses in the South End, Old North End. They're, they're really interesting, and that tells a really beautiful story of immigrants coming here and just different booms and busts of this city. The children's graves were donated by Louisa Howard 
The home started for children whose parents were lost during the Civil War. Some of my last words were, don't spend a lot of money on the funeral, give it to the poor. <laughs> <laughs> So there is a section on the southern side of the cemetery where several African-American soldiers are buried. They were Civil War soldiers, part of the Massachusetts 54th Regiment, which was featured in the movie Glory. As most of you can recognize me, <laughs> I'm Lawrence Barnes. I was born of pilgrim stock of seven children. I was fifth of the lot. His biggest industry was lumber, and he would get the lumber to, to Burlington cheap. So what he would do is he would buy the lumber in Canada and then he'd strip it and just float it down the river. He was pretty industrious like that. <laughs> a businessman and politician was my story. Indomitable, cheerfulness, and good luck was my goal. A lot of Burlington history focuses on the men and not a lot of attention is paid to the women. So. We found Theodora kind of by accident, and she was a prolific writer. She wrote poetry, she wrote novels, she wrote a lot of fiction. There is no marker for Theodora, but we think that she is here by this tree. Her father and mother are here, and one day, hopefully, maybe we can get her a plaque too. Oh, give me something to remember you by. When you are far away from me, dear. I personally love visiting cemeteries, and Lakeview Cemetery is one of my favorites. We will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Or as someone on the tour said, we'll get buried in Vermont with you again real soon. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts. Buried in Vermont, get it? Not stuck. Buried. Yes. 25 years ago, I was treated for breast cancer, and the cemetery was actually a healing place for me. There's a gentleman who was born on my birthday, Wareham Swan, in uh, 1870, and I would run by his stone and say, Wareham, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>